Hey, welcome back to Entitled Goose Game. Uh, we're about to barge down this man's gate. Yeah, look at him go. And down he goes. Amazing. Alright. Yep, the Goose Game is back. The episode is out, and it's time to cause some more chaos. So immediately we head off to the uh, town area, trying to get some, uh, cause some trouble, you know. A little puddle on the ground, probably gonna use that later. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Um, and bam, there's a boy with a plane, uh, he looks disgusting, he, he's glasses so we should make fun of him, that's uh, that's how it works. We bully him, we take his plane, it's perfect, perfect crime. Alright, we head back to the shop, getting ready to uh, steal some stuff, I find a murder weapon, gonna hide that behind somewhere, you know, just in case, you never know when uh, you might need to give someone a little shank, you know. Alright, and then we just see this little kid, you know, where... We kind of scare him off, he trips, we make fun of him. Yeah, yeah, we just kind of laugh at him while he's down, it's pretty amazing. Then we uh, take his glasses again. And uh, yeah, he never sees those glasses ever again. They're gone, forever. They're ours now. Now we can be smart. We then proceed to bark at him and bite his heels until he runs around town square. Square, square, square. Uh, square, cry like a little baby. He eventually makes it into the shop where he finds his pa his airplane that we uh, basically sold off. He's it's being held to a ransom. He's gonna have to pay it. Here, I'll let you guys watch. Pretty great, huh? Yep, there he goes, having to pay up for his own toy. Yeah, she's she's mean, but she's kind of awesome, you know. Worked for us. We're just doing her a favor, you know, keeping her shop alive. Anyways, next we decide, hey, we want to make it onto TV, so we do. Look at us. We're beautiful. We're stars now. Hey, mom, a star. It's pretty great. Next, we find these walkie-talkies, and we just start talking to each other. We are so adorable. Look at us. It's so cute. We decide to go on a parade as well. Here, just watch. It's cute. Trust me. See? Completely adorable. Harmless. We have done nothing wrong. We did not make a poor boy fall and slip in a puddle. Come on, he was kind of outside of it. I'm gonna say that doesn't count, alright? I'm gonna say that was completely fine and not our fault. Anyways, so we uh, see him yet again. We kind of chase him into a telephone booth where he has to hide. Which is, um... It's great. It's great for us. Not so much for him, but um, that doesn't matter, you know. But apparently the person working at the TV station kind of got freaked out by that. But, you know, eventually decided to just go back inside, not caring. But us not having enough, you know, we just decided, hey, you know what? Let's grab the last piece of equipment that this lady has. And let's take it away. But then she just starts absolutely kicking us around like a bunch of soccer balls. We couldn't do anything but flee. Eh, uh, yeah. But, uh, we eventually did get our revenge. You're just not gonna see it because, um, it happened off camera, obviously. Um, that's... N we're not running away. This That did not happen. Alright? We were brave. We fought her. It was a battle to the death. It was amazing. Trust me. Alright, you gotta have to take my word for it. And then we met this guy. Yeah. Um... Not sure what he's doing, but he was too chill and relaxed, so we decided we had to do something about it, you know? He was a bit too cool for us. So we took his pipe, and uh, apparently he can phase through interdimensional spaces because this man just kind of reached through a fence. Um, I guess it doesn't allow his legs to go through the fence because he couldn't get through and couldn't climb. So, uh, anyways, then we, uh, had enough of him, went to the neighbor, messed around with her goose, you know, 
It was too pretty, we didn't like it, and then I decided to bash my skull into some bells for a couple seconds. It's pretty great. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. Yeah, we eventually did actually get her to put the ribbon on us, which was a beautiful moment. Because we are beautiful, and we are super adorable. Alright, look, just look, look at the goose with the ribbon. It's, it's so cute. Look. Oh, it's awesome. Look at that. Anyways, uh, then we decided to help her dress up the statue. It was unfair, alright? We were too cute. We needed something else to be dressed up as well. Though it was not nearly as adorable. Then we uh, helped the neighbors with their trimming. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. Ooh, whoopsie. Um, yeah, that wasn't our fault at all. Um, they were giving us weird looks, so we got to get out of there. And get out we did. All good things come to an end. We were great helping them out, you know, trimming all that. So we just ran through the house real quick, you know. Um, yeah, not causing any harm. I'm pretty sure they're probably fine, you know. Um... They're probably all right. You know, they probably didn't get hurt. Probably. But yeah, we uh, took a, their package, their newspaper and all that, and we decided to leave because uh, we knew it contained a bunch of gold bricks, you know. That was something that it had to have. Had. And that's the end of this one, guys. If you liked it, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe. This took me a while to make. All these voiceovers are tiring. And uh, I'm using a new editing software, so uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.